Hello, good day, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. And um, I want to show you the, well, what I promised you on my last video. And for those of you who don't know, I showed on the last video that and the, what race are the Mexican people and what is their genetic composition. And on that video, I promised, I promised a lot of you that I would show you my, what's it called, my genetic composition of me. Uh, the breakdown, the uh, but more specifically the percentages of each race and of uh, what I am in each sub race and stuff like that, which I thought was very very interesting. I I ha I'm gonna show you the results basic based on 23andMe.com and 23andMe.com I, I like it a lot. There's actually plenty of other uh, programs that uh, take your DNA and stuff like that, but that's the one I use and I like it a lot and for especially for one or even two hundred dollars that's a very good deal that's a steal by the way I'm I don't receive any commission I don't receive any um, any incentive or anything like to uh, to tell you this but yeah it, it for those of you who want to know about your background uh, want to know more detailed um, like description of like your background your your dna and stuff like that i really suggest you well actually no just just go and buy it you know if um it's just well it's like 100 dollars, 200 dollars. of course don't use your rent money or or like like, like you know if you that that's uh if you have like the the money and you're wondering if you want to get it yeah go ahead it's worth it's worth every penny and especially for what they charge there are some that are even more accurate but they'll charge you a pretty penny like two thousand or or one thousand dollars of course um sorry sorry i digress but yes how does it work basically i ordered the kit ancestry and plenty of other uh programs they do the same thing you buy it uh at, well the one that it costs you it can be 200 or it's 100 200 dollars it's well it's the same but the 200 dollar pack they give you also information about your health and they send you updates and stuff like that and they send you updates on your ancestry and they send you uh um even more detailed stuff like cleft chin or widow's peak or something like that uh, the the one hundred dollar pack it's very basic and they just tells you your genetic composition. Um, of course, what happens when you order it? You order it, it comes to your door, and then you're supposed to put saliva. They collect saliva samples in it. You you send it back to them. They pay of of course the shipping, and they send it to a lab in LA, LA or maybe even Houston. They had. They have labs or had labs you know because of the hurricane and stuff but anyways uh and then in two three weeks you receive uh you receive notifications well that's of course if you provided provided them your email and stuff like that and which you really should you really don't want to forget that um what was i gonna say so yes and uh i want to show you in detail in great detail my genetic composition and i hope you guys uh, find it interesting and yes and because uh, as i said uh one time before yes of course most of us are are native american and european or european and native american but however very few of us all will be exactly 50 50 very few of us actually know exactly what percentage is and it's very interesting you know in the end we're all human and we are well we are all the same on the inside we are 99.998 percent alike um it's really not that much different well we we are so so similar you know regardless of race regardless of even like gender and stuff like that so yes this is definitely not anything not anything to say oh yes i'm i'm part 
Spanish or Italian or Swedish or I don't know Egyptian whatever and then think you're like better than everybody or or stuff like that yeah no 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 we are all 99.98 percent the same and yeah I think every race has its beauty every race has its interesting things they all have their own advantages and stuff and it's very interesting you know and and yeah I just want to tell you that and yeah thanks for watching and I'll show you on the next slide okay so this is actually my racial uh, my genetic composition and um, well as you can see the the highest one is European and set, followed by that is East Asian and Native American and after that is uh, Sub-Saharan African and then the rest is actually quite small that I wouldn't really consider it as less than 1% so pretty much the sub races of Eastern European most more than anything it's Southern European and more specifically the Iberian Peninsula which is more specifically Spain in my case and for East Asian and uh, Native American I have 37 almost 38 percent Native American and the rest is almost nothing I'm actually very surprised I thought I would be a little bit uh, more because you know I like uh, like a lot of the Asian stuff a lot of the anime manga and uh, food and the culture and stuff but anyways um, I have 6.8 almost 7 percent sub-Saharan African and actually most of it is West African I think actually most of it could be because I have um, well I've been told once by my parents that they came from Veracruz well not my them but you know like some of my great great grandparents they may have come from there and and back then in that time there were actually a lot of Spanish that uh, brought over some African slaves to Veracruz but actually most of them they didn't make they didn't make it they died along the way or died of diseases and stuff and a lot of them they actually mixed in and assimilated to the Mexican population and yeah and so yeah so pretty much that I think that that pretty much uh, resumes my my genetic uh, composition and thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye